What's up guys, welcome back to our video. This is Alex and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. And if you saw my short a few weeks ago, you know that I got some FedEx on the driveway the other day and this is what we're gonna be talking about. So as you can see, that was another bikes online. And if you wanna know what this is about, please stick around. But before we do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. As of today, the making of this video, I'm at 520 subscribers. Thank you everybody who has been there since the beginning. And if you've been there but you haven't actually subscribed, please go ahead and consider doing that. It'll help the channel a lot. Other than that, let's go ahead and open this thing up. For starters, this is a 3x8 and we got a Shimano, Shimano Auto derailleur up the front, this speed derailleur and a Shimano Turny TX at the rear. Then we have an 8-speed cassette at the back. I'll leave the tooth numbers in this one, I can see it. And then we have just regular wheels and by the way this one came with no air and at the rear these are 27.5 double walls 27 and a half by 2.1 in-house branding over there we have hydraulic brakes though and these are some weird brand I leave the brand out of the specs over here and we have a Shimano shifter the rear cassette the front the bars, they're really heavy, they're steel. The bike is aluminum. And there's no dropper on this one. Let me see what, I, oh, by the way, the front shock is a 100 millimeter travel. You can see that right there. And it's a SR Sun Tour with preload on both sides. So, very simple bike. I love the graphics though, the color. How it's fades and it says Cascade 4 over here. That's really a neat. Now, let's see how this thing ships out of the box. Rear derailleur. First gear, no, I mean 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Not bad. Now let's go back down. That's one, two, three. Uh oh. Four. Come on. There you go. Five. Come on. Nope. Six, seven, eight. Okay, again, all the way up, up here to the other side. So the limits are okay, not, not bad in there. Let's go back. So I guess just micro adjustments, but not bad for out of the box. I still gotta align those brakes, but I've done that many, many times, super easy. Now the front derailleur is gonna be a different story. I hate messing with front derailleurs. So hopefully this one is good. Although, although, this is bound to get upgraded. But meanwhile, let's see what we got. Right there is on the second gear, middle cog. First gear. Of course the chain is completely twisted. So that's why it's rubbing a little bit. That's why it's not recommended to run first gear and the biggest and the smallest cog in the back so it's too twisted but we'll see we'll, we'll figure something out so that's in the smallest chain ring up front second chain ring uh oh third chain ring so not bad third chain ring no rubbing issues between the derailleur over here and the rear smallest cog now let's see what happens if I move this 
and cross it all the way out at the back. Now let's see what happens when I flip, when I switch this all the way, like cross it all the way, the biggest cog in the front, biggest cog in the back. A little bit of rubbing, but that's expected. So if you switch this to the middle one, again, a little bit of minor adjustment, but like I said, this is bound to get upgraded pretty soon, hopefully, because I just want to shave some weight in this thing real quick. Now, that's the smallest chain ring up front with the biggest chain ring at the back. So this is perfect. This is great for climbing over here. The relationship that you have is awesome. So, so far, so good right there. Let's see what else we have. This is what comes in the box. Of course, the pedal tool. And this is something new that I'm gonna get a lot of use of. It comes with a multi-tool. This is awesome, awesome. I I was going to buy something like this, but now I don't have to. Of course, the pedals, the this is a derailleur protector, the little bell that I like a lot. And the bottle opener. So this is really cool. So this is the Polygon Cascade 4. I hope that you like this bike. Stay tuned if you want to see the trail review. I'm gonna, I have already a handlebar coming in because this is a steel handlebar, it's extremely heavy and I got the pedals and grips, that's why I did not install the original pedals because I'm not gonna be using those I'm gonna be using some pedals that I bought a while back and they've been waiting for, for my wife's bike so now that I have it, I'm gonna be putting in those pedals and um, other than that, I hope that you like this video if you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button again, this is an excellent beginners bike entry level bike with a hundred millimeter travel up front there's a coil fork hopefully one day i can upgrade it it's not necessarily because she's not gonna be doing any jumps or anything anytime soon but i want to do it so we'll see we'll see how it, it goes hopefully she lets me do some upgrades to it because she don't want me spending any more money <clears throat> but yeah it's the uh, yeah, that's it. I hope that you like this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to comment. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. Um, and other than that, that is it for this one, guys. And I'll see you on the trails. Goodbye.